Hey everyone, this is Deborah. It's my second attempt to doing this video. I got a call, so um, yeah, I got this shirt from Evine, and it was on sale, like sixty-five percent off. The fabric is so soft. At my age, I have to have soft fabrics because I'm in so much pain. You know, I gotta have something that feels good against my skin. But I happen to realize that I have a 20-year-old Chico necklace that picks up on the colors exactly. So if you have a patterned shirt and a necklace that has the exact same tint of colors, you can do that. Otherwise, if you have a patterned shirt, you have to use a solid color necklace. So I hope that makes sense to you. So uh, I'm getting my blood drawn, and I swear to God, I shouldn't swear to God, but whatever, they, they leave bruises. They really do. I forgot how to even get to Tappahannock. Oh my God, I had to like turn around. I was going to Fredericksburg. So, uh, I had a hardship last night. But I haven't had anything to eat since midnight last night. It's now 3, 3 p.m. the next day. I can't eat because they want me to fast or the blood work is like futile, like useless. So I wanted to tell you all what I was like in junior high. I was a trip. That's when I really think I began to blossom and I became my own personality. And then of course my personality got stunted when I started dating. Guys have a tendency to do that, you know. They have a tendency to change who you are. So my advice to you all is if you're dating somebody who is changing who you are, go, go fast, shut the door, leave, you know. So in junior high, believe it or not, I was the comic. I was the class clown. I don't think anyone in my whole junior high was as funny as I, and I am not exaggerating. Okay, so I'm going to give you, for instance, this could be a little PG rated, I guess, but I would remember I was in seventh grade. Now, remember, I had, I was 36, 24, 36 in seventh grade. I was a fully developed woman. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, in gym class, when all the other girls would see, you know, me in my bra, they would get very jealous, and they would, uh, spray me with deodorant, uh, you know, I'd get asphyxiated, and then sometimes, when they knew, uh, they would throw me in the hallway, which is next to the home act. Back then, girls took home act. Uh, nowadays, I think the guys should take home act, and the girls should take shop. That's another story. So yeah, they would throw me out in the hallway and everybody would be laughing and giggling and I didn't care. I just thought it was funny as hell. I never got caught. No one ever got in trouble. So another instance is we had these really high windows and if we got up on the radiators inside of the gym locker room, uh, I would get on the radiators and flash all the guys coming in from gym, but if they never looked up at those windows, they would have never saw me. I got a big kick out of that. Okay, another instance was in art class. I, I loved art. I still do. I just finished watching Skin Wars with RuPaul, and I... I, I couldn't get enough. I couldn't get enough of, of these artists that were body painting. So if you haven't seen Skin Wars, please, it's on Netflix. It's free. Well, you have to have the subscription to Netflix. So back to the art class. There was this big box, a wooden box with a lid. And uh, I decided to get in this box. It was like 115 pounds, I guess. I got in this box and I stayed there during the whole class. Now, a couple students knew I was in this box and they would, I would hear the giggles. Nobody ratted on me, you know. And then towards the end of the class, I jumped out of the box like a jack of the box and everybody just rolled on the floor laughing. Okay, now here's another instance. Uh, back in the, I guess, late 60s, maybe 1970s, 
70, whatever, um, it was late 60s, yeah, we had these little trailers because we were overflowed at our junior high and we had a history class in one of these trailers and it had a partition built in the middle of in the middle of the trailer I don't know why but there was uh, where it was the kind of partition like in a bathroom where you could see your feet okay so keep that in mind so I camera just fell jeez okay I gotta be very careful not to look at the camera and to watch my driving okay so I happened to be one of the last ones in class and I pushed over a chair to, uh, I guess, to stand on behind this partition. Now remember, you could see underneath of it. And I had, I took my belt off. I remember this very vividly. I took my belt off and every once in a while when the class had started and he was talking, I would dip the belt down and up and down and up and the kids just died laughing. I used to do some really gross stuff too. I used to eat cigarettes. <laughs> I would do anything to get attention. I guess I'm still like that. I would eat cigarettes. I, don't, I think I would spit it out in um, in the I guess the water fountain. I don't think I ever I didn't swallow. Yeah. Okay. So also I like to draw a crowd, and during gym class, I would gather all the girls around. Now, I would pretend I wasn't a virgin, but I was. I was a virgin all the way till I was, you know, junior in high school. So, in seventh grade, I acted like I was really, you know, I was acting like one of the guys, acting like they got lucky every weekend, but I was acting like... Um, I was experienced. So I would gather all these girls around. Absolutely knew nothing about sex. And I would tell them the things they needed to do. One of them was never to take off all your clothes. You know, I was I was so sexy. I was sexy back in fourth grade. Uh, I would draw a crowd and I, I would have their eyes glued on me for my next word, my next sentence. They just believe everything I said. Okay. All right, so let's go back to fourth grade. Now, this is going to stun a lot of you. I even had breasts in fourth grade. Uh, the only one in the class, yeah. Now, this was at Oakton Elementary in Oakton, Virginia, and I'm sure any of my classmates are watching this. They may remember this. I was called the Fireball Girl back then. I lived right next to a store. Uh, in Oakton, which is no longer there. It's some barbecue place. It was Zook store. I was the fireball girl. I would go pick up 40 fireballs and I would share it with everybody in my classroom. So, but back then the teachers were allowed to leave the room for sometimes quite an extensive amount of time. Nowadays, when I was teaching uh, in the high school, you weren't allowed to leave that room at all. You know, so, um, I would time it so that I would do a strip tease in fourth grade, sometimes fifth grade, uh, and I would start pulling down one shirt sleeve, then I would pull down another, and then I would have it timed out so that by the time I heard the teacher come up to the door, I was able to, uh, get everything back on before she could open the door. I was really good at this. <laughs> but needless to say, I think that was the beginning of women hating my guts, but that's their problem. They could have they could have done the same thing, but I never got in trouble for that. I was the one kid that never got in trouble for these antics. Uh, someone's trying to pass me. Ah, oh, stupid people on a solid line coming up. Okay. Uh, yeah, nowadays I do not recommend that any girls do that because if someone's got a smartphone, it's going to be all over the internet and you're 
reputation is shot. Now, the, the sad thing out of this is some of the guys believed that I was promiscuous and I wasn't. Believe me, I wasn't. And, of course, they would start, you know, spreading rumors about me, which were very untrue. And that really affected me the rest of my life. It really does. When you, when you start harassing these young girls, uh, that can affect you. And uh, so, yeah, it really does. If, 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 please teach your sons not to do that, really. I taught my son to respect girls in all situations, and my son was so well liked in his high school that the women, the girls, would come to him with their problems and write, you know, ten-page letters to him. And he had the common sense between me and his dad that he was able to help so many young girls. And to this day, he respects women in such a way he has never, ever said anything derogatory about a woman or a woman's figure or anything that could hurt a woman's feelings because I would have busted his ass. Yes. So, you young mothers out there, heed what I'm saying. Teach your sons to be respectful of other of women. So, I hope you've enjoyed this about what I was like, but I have one question. I was really into makeup in 7th and 8th grade. My mother used to call it cat shit. Get that cat shit off of you. Well, I remember a couple of my uh, teachers, they, I would like be applying it during class. Oh, there's a cop with radar. Ah! I'd be applying it during class and they would confiscate it. But I'd like to know what the hell did they do with all of my makeup? I mean, they had tons of it. You know, if I had to do all over again at the end of the year, I would have opened their desk and I would have gotten it back. I mean, really, that costs money, even back in the 60s. All right. Bye, everyone.